Hey guys, Kavya here. Welcome back to my channel, Kavya Edits. Today, I am not here with a reading vlog, surprise, surprise, but I'm actually here with my monthly wrap up. In the month of August, I actually ended up reading five books like I read last month. You guys know I'm a slow reader, I can't read fast, so I tend to usually read one digit number. But um, yeah, and also, once again, this month was dedicated to a whole series, um, a series though, whose vlogs I'm currently in the process of slowly posting. Um, if you couldn't tell, I'm talking about the Sinners of Saints series. So there's five books in the Sinners of Saints series, and in the month of August, I spent reading those five books. So this... Um, Video is just me telling you what I rated them, what I thought about them. Um, but I'm not going to go into too much detail of all these books because I do have a reading work for Defy, Vicious, and Reckless already out, and the reading work for Scandalous and Bane will be coming out in the next two weeks. So you get to see my in depth thoughts about those two books when those books come out. So yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get into what I read each books and what I thought about them. Okay, so the first book I read in August was book one of the Sinners of Saints series, or book 0.5, call it Defy. So this is a small novella which kind of starts the Sinners of Saints series. Um, this is about Melody Green. Green? Melody? Yeah, Melody Green and Jamie Followhill. Her Melody is a student and Jamie is a... No! Melody is a teacher and Jamie is her student. So it is their romance. It's very forbidden, very taboo. For a small synopsis, I'm going to try to do this right this time. Okay, let's see. Melody is a 26-year-old uh, teacher who never wanted to be a teacher, but actually wanted to be a dancer. But due to injury, uh, she could not be... She Due to her injury, um, she could not fulfill her dreams. So, which is why she ended up being a teacher at All Saints High. Jamie Fowler Hill is part of the four hot holes in the town of Todos Santos. He's 18 and he, along with his three friends, Vicious, Dean and Trent, run the school. But Melody happens to be their teacher, like I mentioned. And also, Jamie's mother is um, the principal of the said school, which is called All Saints High. That's the basic synopsis. Um, Rating-wise, I gave this book three out of five stars. Now. Don't get me wrong, I love the Sinners of Saints series, but this book, I don't know if it, I was just like off the off-campus high, because I just read um, off-campus slash Brian U before this book, and I just couldn't get into this book. Or maybe it was because of the trope, because I'm not a fan of the huge uh, teacher-student trope, I just, I can't deal with it, like I don't like it, it's not my best, it's not the best trope out there, I just, I've not found any show or book that's like, oh my god, teacher student. I just hate it. I think it's disgusting. Anyways, which is why I think this book, I was a bit meh towards it. But I gave it three stars. I actually really did like Jamie. I think the only reason I gave this book is for Jamie because I adore Jamie. And I really wish we were going to full no novel for him. But no, we just got a little novella. Don't get me wrong. I did like Melody. But like at times she pissed me off. So I was like, I don't want to deal with you. Just give me back to Jamie. So yeah, this is why this book, I get three out of five stars. So the next book I read in the month of August was Vicious. This is book two in the Sinners of Saints series by LJ Shen. This book is about Vicious and Amelia. Baron, who, Vicious is real name is Baron Spencer. So, but we like to call him Vicious because it sounds better than Baron. And like I said, in Defy, Vicious and his three best friends, Dean, Trent and Jamie, run um, the All Saints High High School and as they're known as the Four Hot Holes. Out of all the hot holes, Vicious is known to be the most ruthless one. And when Amelia LeBlanc moves into his family house um, because her parents are the hired help, Vicious finds a new target to take all his rage out of. So basically, this that's the basic synopsis of the book. Uh, this book goes back and forth uh, from the present to 10 years ago. Uh, something happened to Vicious and Amelia which caused them to go their separate ways for 10 years um, and then they meet again and Vicious won't leave Amelia until she makes he she works for him for because she he Vicious needs Amelia for something uh, which you're gonna have to find out when you read the book and also did I mention that Amelia happens to be Vicious's ex Vicious's best friend Dean's ex-girlfriend so there's also that factor uh, this book <laughs> 
I ended up giving 5 out of 5 stars because I absolutely loved Vicious and Amelia's story. Like I told you, I was surprised no one else. This is the first book in the Sinners of Sydney series to actually have du dual POV. Uh, Defy did not have dual POV, which only got Melody's POV, so I think that's another reason I gave it 3 stars. But this book had uh, dual POV. We got to see both Vicious and Amelia's POV. And oh my god, it was amazing. Because being in Vicious's head was amazing you guys like i love being in that man's head because i finally got to think how he thinks like the way this man thinks it's really complicated <laughs> i'm a sucker for damage here as i think we all know is by now and vicious is damaged and i'm a sucker for him i loved him and i loved his enemy in the story which is why i gave vicious five out of five stars the next book i read in the month of august was also part of the sinners of saints series it's called ruckus which is a story of Dean Cole and Rosie LeBlanc, the sister of Amelia from the previous book. book. Also, if you don't know, Dean in this book also happens to be Amelia's ex-boyfriend. So that's all that. So obviously Dean is part of the hot holes. Um, he is known as the funny one. Like, Vicious is the vicious one. Jamie's the nice one. D Dean is the funny one. The party animal, the man hole. What are we going to call him? Thing is, there's a reason why dean is the way he is like there's so much layers to dean cole that you get to slowly peel as you read more and more into this amazing book as a grown man dean has everything he needs or wants in his life except for one thing that is his ex-girlfriend's little sister rosie rosie is the baby of her uh, family she's always been babied because of her illness which is cystic fibrosis and because of that her family have always been overprotective of her have always been worried about her however all rosie has ever wanted is to go live her own life which is why she moves to new york with her sister uh amelia so when she's in new york she gets to do a lot of things rosie in her back of her mind knows that she can't get everything right she's holding herself back from like fully giving herself to a man or even to a job because she knows she doesn't have time and she's scared that if she commits to something, she commits to someone, she's going to be leaving them heartbroken. And Rosie's a lot of things, but she's not selfish. She doesn't want for her selfish reasons for someone else's life to get ruined. This time, Dean Cole refuses to back down for Rosie LeBlanc. So, basically, Dean and uh, this book also goes back and forth 10 years ago to the present. Just like Vicious and Amelia, Dean and Rosie also have a past that no one knew about. Um, especially not Amelia or Vicious. And... In this book, we see that Dean never wanted Amelia. Like, it was always Rosie for him. And we see why Dean dated Amelia, why Rosie never told Amelia the truth about her things with Dean, and how these two come together, and how they attempt to fix each other, because they're both, to an extent, really broken. Like, not broken, really damaged, because Rosie, because of illness, refuses to let people come near her. And then Dean, there's a lot of about his past that he still hasn't dealt with yet. So they both come together and, like, Try to help each other and it's really, really emotional. This book, if you watch my reading vlog, you know how much this book made me cry. I sobbed my eyes out. Rosie and Dean are freaking soulmates and they deserve the bloody world. Which is why this book, I gave 5 out of 5 stars. I was shocked, no one else. So in the next two books I read in August are the two books that the reading works for which are not out yet so the readings for these two books might be a surprise for you might not be a surprise for you the next book i read in the month of august was book four i'm pretty sure it's four to five it's just ruckus scandalous yeah book four of the sin of the saints series called scandalous so this is about the fourth and last hot hole called trent retrod trent is known as a mute he doesn't speak uh unless he absolutely needs to. He likes to keep him to himself. Um, and yeah, unlike the four other hot, other like the other hot holes, Trent doesn't come from a rich background. Like everything he is now, he's worked for. And something I love about him, by the way, he's also a single dad. Luna, his daughter's name is Luna. I absolutely adore that kid. But the problem with Luna is. She doesn't speak. However, there's nothing wrong with her vocal cords, but she just doesn't speak, which is takes kind of a toll on her and Trent's relationship. And then enters Eddie Van Der Zee. Eddie is 18 years old, um, and when she meets Trent, Trent is 33. So there's a pretty huge age gap. Um, and it's kind of hate at first sight, but then circumstances cause also 
Eddie is the daughter of Trent's business partner, who Trent hates. So there's also that. Um, also, circumstances cause Eddie to work with Trent. Um, and both of them have clearly have attraction, but both of them can't be with each other because of circumstances. I absolutely loved this book. Now, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of age gaps. Like, it's kind of like the same thing with student, teacher student. I never liked age gap until I read Writing Days from the Addicted series, but this has a bigger age gap than Writing Days. So I was a bit like, ugh, because I, in this book, in this series, we already had an age gap with Defy and I did not like it one bit. How about this book? Just guess. I gave this book five out of five stars. Eddie and Trent. The things these two will do for the people they care about. Oh my god, my heart, my heart, my heart. I love these two so much. But it's like Eddie and Trent also got a 5 out of 5 stars for me. The fifth and last book I read in the month of August is the last book of the Sinners of Saint series called Bane. Now, before I get into this, if you're going to read Bane, check the trigger warnings because there is mention of rape and suicide in this book. So if you're gonna read this book, always check trigger warnings because I don't know this, I don't check trigger warnings, I don't know if I had to, but I was kind of thrown into this. Not that I mind, but if anyone out there who just check the trigger warnings for this book. Anyways, Bane is not a kind of a hot horse. Bane is just like, it's part of the Sinners of Satan series, but I feel like you could totally like read this like as a standalone. Like you don't really need to read the others. Um, this book, Bane, is about Bane. <laughs> his name is actually Roman. Roman? Roman? Roman. Roman. Fucking. His name is Roman, but people call him Bane because he was the one. So you know how Defy? Defy is actually was a fight club that uh, the four hot holes actually like, made in when they were in high school. But this, when Bane got to high school, like after, way years after graduated, Bane was the one who fucking destroyed the fight club like he, he 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 got so like violent that they were like no more fight club so that's why they're like he's the bane like he's bane in the existence um so bane um he is a con a liar a thief and a man whore he's an escort basically he gets money for sleeping with people but like he does this but the one thing i love about bane he doesn't he's not ashamed of what he does like he is proud of like what he does and how he does it in school, and that is until he meets Jesse Carter. Now, Jesse, the poor girl, Jesse has been through a lot. Okay, she's been through a lot. And when Bane meets Jesse, she's actually a part of a deal that Bane had made uh, with her stepfather about getting Jesse out of the house because something in her past has made Jesse just live in her own cocoon, not come out, not just be in her room all the time, have no friends, don't do anything. Um, so Bane had the task of making sure Jesse gets a job and she gets out of the house and stuff like that. And Bane does succeed. But what I love about this book is that Jesse didn't need Bane to like teach her how to live. Like, yeah, Bane was a catalyst of like giving her the slight push, but Jesse Carter ended up saving herself. All the previous girls in this series don't get me wrong they look they were all strong headed they, they knew what the, they, they could like hold their own they could fight against the guys but jesse i think she's the girl who's been through the most out of all the previous girls and this girl she is one brave girl because she did not give up she did not kill the very like she didn't she refused to let people who wronged her get away with it and i was like I was here for that, which is why I ended up giving this book also five out of five stars. I did give most of the books in uh, the All Saints, uh, not All Saints, sorry, that's the The Sinners of Saints series, five out of five stars, except Defy. Defy was the only book that didn't connect with me. I, don't, I think it was because it was a novella, and that was the only book that I didn't get both the POVs, but oh well, I don't care because I just don't like Melody and Jamie. I love Jamie, I just am ugh about Melody. Anyways, this was my August book wrap up. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, tell me down below, have you read these series? If you have, what do you think about them? Also, what did you read in the month of August? Did you read five books or less or more? I know a lot of people read like 20, 80 books. I'm like, 
I can't, I can't, I can't even read like 10 books. Like how long to read 20 books? It's, it's impossible for me. Guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to, if you guys want to see my more in-depth like talks about each of these books, so far the first three, the reading books, the, the first three books in the series is out now, which is Defy, Vicious, and Ruckus. Um, the reading loss of Scandalous Bane will, Scandalous and Bane will be coming out in the next two weeks. So keep, keep your eyes peeled for that. But till then, go watch the other vlogs and see what I really thought about these couples. How much Dean and Rosie made me cry, how much I love Vicious, how much I kind of couldn't read Defy. <laughs> Anyways, um, I will see you guys next week with another reading vlog. Um, till then, hope you guys have a great day. <laughs> Bye guys.